So 31 states will be in some stage of reopening, everybody says, by next week. And there are a lot of strategies being floated around about how to safely get back to work. Uh, I think, personally, I, I don't think until every American has access to a test that can tell them where they stand in the coronavirus world that, that anybody is safe. Because if I am testing clear and I decide to go, you know, vacation in Georgia, I don't want to bring it to Georgia if I have it. You know, I, I don't want to carry any of this, and I don't want them coming here and bringing what they got. So how are we got? You know, how are we going to do this if we are opening too soon? I guess I'll throw that out to to you, Sonny. You know, I, I've always said the case for reopening up America, quite frankly, I think lies in testing, as you've just mentioned, Whoopi. It lies in testing. It lies in research for a vaccine. It lies in treatment for COVID-19, um, and it lies in really stay-at-home stay orders until we have all of those steps in place. And, and, and so, and we're so far from it. We know at this point we're only testing 150,000 people a day. At that rate, right. it'll take six years to test everybody. We really should be testing 5 right. million people a day. So, you know, we're, we're nowhere right. near Quickly, being able to get back to normal, unfortunately. What do you think, Megan? I think this is a complicated question because I think depending on what state you're in, you probably feel differently. As of right now, this is something that Scott Gottlieb just tweeted. Idaho, Ohio, South Dakota, and Florida are all states with declining COVID numbers. But nationally, we have 30,000 cases a day, 2,000 deaths a day, which is still a really staggering number if you if you think about it. Um, the slope is going down, but the going down is more gradual than how it accelerated. In South Dakota, uh, there was actually a video that came out of government. Governor Christie Nome yesterday, where residents around 250 got in their cars and held a parade for her outside of the governor's mansion, obviously social distancing, to thank her for keeping the state open. And I think that people in South Dakota are seeing what's happening in other states with the economy, and they're thankful and fearful that it can still happen. So I think it's a really complicated question, and I do think we should take it state by state. Unfortunately, I think there's some bad actors, like in Georgia, where they opened up too quickly and they opened up things that were non-essential. I don't think there's any American, and I, I don't mean this with disrespect, I have tattoos, but a tattoo parlor is not an essential business right now in the same way that a grocery store is. So I think if we can do this slowly right. and carefully and, uh, you know, with the, with the sensitivity and understanding of just how dangerous this disease is, I do think maybe we can see small, safe openings in more rural parts of the country. But going forward, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in major cities.